Tuesday morning and it's another soaker. I gotta harvest some microgreens for today's orders and uh, Roger's just getting some Salanova going. Going to stop doing it in soil blocks for the moment just because I am not lacking in greenhouse space. There's tons of greenhouse space available and it's just faster. I've just found over the last few weeks I haven't really had the time to uh, do the soil blocks. So, uh, you know, the main, the main reason I do the soil, the mini soil blocks is because we're lacking in greenhouse space at the beginning of the season when we've got all the main field plugs in here with tomatoes and lots of microgreens. But since we don't have the lack of real estate now or the time, doing it in just standard flats is going to be easier. So we're just doing them in 200 cell flats and we're going to do a bunch today. and it's a great time to pick tomatoes so we're picking cherries now we're picking two days a week Tuesdays and Fridays okay it's a soaker out here I'm just kind of standing under my roof gonna come out here and cut this bed of mustard greens real quick to add to our salad mix I've got a group of chefs coming over there's a new executive chef at one of our restaurants who wants to meet us he wants a little farm tour so um, no guarantee that they're going to want to be in the video. I usually I don't like to push it on people, but uh, if they're open to it, I'll kind of maybe put them in as B-roll, but I don't really like to put people on the spot. You know, at the end of the day, I'm running a business, not a reality TV show. So I've got to uh, make sure that, you know, I, I, I respect people's personal space. So we'll see. All right, I'm just getting in my truck and um Heading over to a couple plots. We're just getting slammed with orders right now. It's crazy. And it's like another one of those things. Oh, I wish I would have planted more of this. I wish I would have planted more of that. And uh, what are you going to do? You know, I guess it's a good problem to have. But I'm, um, I'm heading out to do a bit more harvesting. And it's pouring rain right now. So this is not ideal. But hey, that's farming. Sometimes shit happens. You got to deal with it. Roll with the punches. So I'm heading out in the soaking rain. Mark and Christian are there packing. And I just finished a tour with those chefs, which went really well. They were super stoked. And new chef was really excited about the operation. And it looks like they wanna buy more stuff from us than they already were. This one particular customer was uh, one that was buying mostly greens from us because we've been able to match the price point of our salad greens to uh, the quality and volume that they get from the, some of the bigger distributors, especially with the fact that these guys buy a lot. And so I was showing them baby patty pan squash, zucchini flowers, microgreens, tomatoes, radishes, turnips, carrots, and uh, they were really excited. So I think we can expect more from those guys. So, you know, that's a cool, it's cool when you can basically just add more value to a, an already established customer. That's really more ideal than going out, pounding the pavement and finding new customers. That's kind of the, the place that you want to be. So that's, that's something that I'm always striving to do is, is continuously add more value to the customers that we already have and just, and just get more um, numbers from them because then, you know, you don't have to go and set up a new account, build new relationships. Uh, and hope to get paid you know you've got a customer that's already on stream and you're just stacking in some stuff there so it's it's always uh, a good thing okay I'm just gonna jump out of the truck real quick I don't want to get the camera too wet okay here we go just come in here plots looking good oh my turnips my uh, part of my radish bed came uncovered I'm to cover that up okay I got some red Russian kale there that's good we had almost 100% loss on this Salanova bed. Unfortunately, 
but you know what, I'll probably just keep it in place and transplant the one that's coming on in here in it. The heat basically fried it. I have got a fourth cut of this red Russian kale bed. I'm gonna put this under this little roof here. I've got uh, nicely a third cut from this arugula. That's great. And what have I got under here? I've got turnips. Oh my god. I think I have some turnips. Oh geez, I do. I just told the customer that I didn't have any and I think I have some. Some nice arugula coming on for next week. That's great because I've been crazy short on it. So long story short is here. I have a little bit more than I thought I did, so that's fantastic. I'm gonna harvest that bed of arugula, these two beds of red Russian kale, and I'm gonna poke around that turnip bed and see if I've got a little bit more in there. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to make a quick decision on what I, what actions I wanna take. I've got, a, I've got one of my distributor orders, which is a big one. I've gotta get done that for tomorrow. We've pretty much got everything we need for our deliveries today, because we've switched to, we do bi-weekly deliveries in the summer, so for July and August, we deliver Tuesdays and Fridays, but I always have my, my main uh, distributor order on Wednesday. That's always a big one. That's like almost a quarter of the product that we produce in a week. So he he wanted a lot of stuff that I thought I was short on. Turns out I came here, I've got everything he wants. So that's awesome. So we're looking at having a huge week this week. But right now I'm trying to make a quick decision as it's pissing rain and I don't want to be here very long and I don't want to have to wash more stuff than I need. So I'm taking up my old phone and I'm checking the weather. I want to see what the weather's like tomorrow. And it looks like we've got, I don't know if you can see that, Wednesday, 26 degrees Celsius and sunny. So that's great. So what that means is I'm going to save getting the gr more greens till tomorrow. I'm going to get just what I need right now to bulk up my salad mix for the orders to deliver today so that I don't have to process all of them so it means I got to come back but you know whatever it's we're gonna save time because we'll have less time washing and processing so uh, I'm just gonna cut a little bit of some of these beds to get what I need and then get out of here so I can go back home uh, Mark's about to take lunch I've got Christian till noon so I'm gonna be I probably won't be taking a break until 1 so um, I'm gonna push to get these orders out the door by it's 11:25 right now. Hopefully, I can get these orders out of the door on the road by 12:30. All right, that went pretty well. First cut of a, of a red Russian kale is always pretty good. I got I think I got about 15 pounds there, so that's fantastic. That's going to go straight in the salad mix. We've basically already cut all the lettuce that we have for the week. Uh, it needed to be cut, so we figured let's do it all now. So anything I'm adding to the salad mix now is coming from other greens like arugula, red Russian kale, or mustard. We're out of beet greens this week. We're in between beds. I'm just going to go quickly cover up one of those tunnels that was on, that the wind blew off, and then I'm out of here. Going to go mix those greens and then get those deliveries on the road. I'm all loaded up, and when I get home, I'm going to take lunch. But I've got all my gear. Got two big restaurants to deliver to, and then I'm back for a break. It's 5.30 p.m. and I would more than anything love to be done for the day, but I'm not because I own the business and it's my responsibility to make sure things get done if they have to get done. So it's been pissing rain all day. In fact, it's starting to drizzle again. So I better shut my mouth and just get over to this plot across the highway and get done what I need to get done. And I'm not gonna do everything that I need to do there. There's more work to be done there tomorrow, but what I'm doing tonight is I'm going to crop out this last bed of radishes and I'm going to flame weed all these beds so that tomorrow we can come in there, harvest carrots, turn these beds over by hand because Mr. Tilther is still out of commission. And then I will be done for the day. All right, it's been raining since I got here. Not heavy though, just drizzling. Slowed down a little bit, so I've got time to talk to you. So I just cropped out, I got three cases, or three, about 60 pounds of radish from this bed here. And now I'm gonna pull out that new flame weeder of mine and gun these four 
well, one 50 foot bed, three 25 foot beds. Just gonna blast those out and then I'm gonna get out of here. That worked. I had to do it in the rain. It's raining even more now by the time I got the drone in the air. Just started pissing, so had to bring her back down and that's it for the day. I'm done. So I'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll be back here turning these beds over by hand. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share them with your friends. Check out my online course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com. And you can check out my book, which has a lot of this kind of information in it, called The Urban Farmer at TheUrbanFarmer.co. And if you guys would make a, like to make the donation to the show, it's much appreciated. I'm very much welcomed and it allows me to expand on these videos, dedicate more time to making them, getting better quality equipment to do it, and improving the content by writing out my ideas more. So if you want to make a donation to the show, please do that at theurbanfarmer.co slash support. Okay, see you tomorrow.